on my life. I'm back. Look, I've got little Mr. JB with me. <laughs> it's Tuesday morning and Jubbers has got a very important wake up call down to doing stable stays. So he's going to go off and see his buddy, probably pinch all his haylage, entertain the young couple that were in there last night. We've got another beautiful day, which is great for our prep for the open day. Unfortunately, I was, I was affected by the, the bug that Holl and Jodie have had, but I'm feeling a lot brighter today, so all systems go. We'll start with this little guy. Yes? Come on then. Oops, they managed to get the gate open. These three will have rather full tummies now from tonight. Come on, Annie. Hida. Yodel. Come on. Yeah, there's a lot of grass in this field. Oh well, made a nice change for Annie than the hay hole. I'm surprised you can move this morning. Annie, you look a little dishevelled this morning. Have you got a full tummy? Go on, out you go. Go on. Three naughty children. Prince didn't want to be left out. He's following them up. Jubbers did his wake up call. Scoffed Hoyt's as Haylidge. Our lovely guests have just gone. They're heading down to the village for some breakfast now. Look, we've got a little pigeon that's come to join. Oh. And Hoyt's is ready to go. I hope the pigeon's okay. Are you a racing pigeon? You've got little bands around your leg. I think you are. Have you lost home? Oh. We'll find you somewhere nice to go. So we went ahead and cut the big 14 acre field on Sunday. And ordinarily it would have been scaled out, but because the field was quite rough, because obviously that's where the horses graze over winter, and unfortunately I wasn't able to roll it. It was a little bit too rough the ground to be able to scale it out. So they're down there rowing it up now. I'm just gonna go and check on it because it needs to now dry out for the rest of the day before it can be baled up. But from a distance, it certainly looks like a much better crop than I was expecting. Yeah, so it's certainly not as much as in the nine acre, but then that's no surprise because the nine acre isn't grazed by the horses. So it's still a little bit green, but it's not damp. So I think even if it just dries out for today, this will be fine. You know, the, the nine acre is definitely going to be the better quality, but this is still really good meadow grass fibre that can fill their bellies throughout the winter. Little Uber and Nero, who's clearly feeling very well at the moment. It's actually really nice, although I like them to be settled in the field, it's really nice to see him running around and obviously feeling comfortable enough to do so. to come in for the day you know the fact that he can do that and not have to stop himself because he's feeling so sore it's 
knee is a good thing. He will get tired. But when his hock was really bothering him, you could see he'd have a run around and then he'd stop. That's his favourite spot down there by the beck. But he can come in a little bit later. And that's the girls shouting at them. We've just come to inspect Teddy's area for tomorrow evening because we had so much rain this was actually underwater the other day so we couldn't get these big rocks out but the water's subsided now so we should be able to do that today we've also got arriving the first lot of stone clean stone that we're going to put down in this area for the boys where we're going to have their shelter over the winter there's 200 tonne of it arriving. So that's going to be 10 lorries, so 20 tonne per lorry. And I've asked them whether they can deliver it today and tomorrow because they are the two driest days. And that's going to avoid us having mud all over the road, which if they were having to drive into this field with those big wagons and churn it all up, there'd be mud up and down the road. So hopefully we've timed it right and it will all get delivered to the far end there and then when Phil comes in, um, in another week's time, and moves all of this soil up to Hoytzer and Jubber's paddock, he can then start on getting all this stone laid down here and a nice secure area for the boys. Look at a gorgeous boy. It's so good to see him feeling so much better after what happened at our spring open day. He's bright, alert. If you saw Jodie's video of him moving during his last training session, so much freer in his movement as well. He's busy watching Yodel in the arena there. Paul's doing a bit of flag work with her. The idea is, is that she follows the flag along. When she drops her head down, Paul takes the flag away. raising the pressure and then taking the pressure away when you get the right response. All under the guidance of our fabulous trainer Mel. You sat in the hut over there. Um, right, I've had a really lovely message from one of our guardian angels, Lindsay. And the first thing that I want to give you, Hol, is this. Thank you. So while you're busy opening that, I'm also going to give out another little something to everybody and we're going to start with Bailey. So there's an envelope here Yay. and I'd like you to open it and just read out what's on the note. Okay. Look, Annie's come to see as well. Don't mind my sloppy opening of envelopes and I'll of this. To Bailey now. <laughs> to spend on your holiday, love Lindsay. Oh, look, Annie's going to come and take it. She's going to push Tamara out of the way. You're going to have to move Tamara because Annie wants to go past. She's <laughs> so badly trained. She is. <laughs> this is like my other child. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you. Like very much. Thank, <laughs> thank you. If you look behind, <gasps> it's shiny. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. This that's, is rather nice. That's beautiful. Does it fit nicely? Yeah, it does. It fits Ooh. better than my last one actually, which is helpful. Because I'm not going to lie, mine's one with a twisty dial. But sometimes if I popped it to canter and I hadn't adjusted it right, I'd feel it like bobbing up and down on my head. Yeah, that's no good. <laughs> Health and Thank safety, Hull. <laughs> right, okay. Mm, Frey or Jody next. Let's go Frey. 
I've never got an opening post. You know, I'm just gonna, because I feel that Frey is quite vulnerable at the moment and that it might be, have you got in there safely yet? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting there. Okay, okay. I'm getting there. Give me two to three business working weeks. Is working it, weeks. <laughs> is it in the, have you actually? Yeah, okay. We've got there. Okay. To Freya. Buy some more beautiful summer dresses, love Lindsay. Oh, oh nice. it's a little perfect that you're in a beautiful yeah. summer dress now. Yeah, I've got another one on the way. <laughs> collection of my turquoise one i've got a third one. Oh my goodness oh so there you go right <laughs> and then jody <laughs> Jodie, I'll spend on your farm and to say thank you for your company during my visit, love Lindsay. Oh, thank you, that's so kind. And a massive help right now, so that's <laughs> amazing, thank you. And then we there's a whole one as well. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, this had to be saved for last. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know what yeah. yours is going to say? Little <laughs> Holly, here is some funds to stop you abusing Tracy, please. <laughs> Sorry, but if that's what Want it was, to be nice to Annie. I would have to donate it all to save the children because there's no way I could do that. <laughs> to Holly, to buy vodka from night out. Love, Lindsay. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Does this mean I can become one of the Grey Goose people now that like, that I can go to a club in Manchester, get one of the BIP booths, booths and get it brought out to me with girls in bikinis with the sparklers, even though that does nothing for me because I don't even swing that way. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much. <laughs> This is very, very tight. Beautifully done. So he's just going to move a bit over. stay on the solid bit. This is the first of ten. Off Martin goes through the rather narrow exit. A sharp turn. second load of stone arriving. Woo! Excellent. We're getting 10 loads of that. That's an awful lot of stone. You could probably have a 20 for all of it. It's all happening today. Two loads of stone. And look at all those bales rolled up in the 14 acre field. 
much better than I expected. And in fact, when I came past just now, I counted at least 52, 53. And given that I wanted 120 in total, that means we're sorted for the year. So huge, huge thanks to everybody who's donated a bale of haylage. All of that has gone towards the cost of making all the boys and girls food for the next 12 months. We've had the fabulous Diane in today, the quilt mark, quilt mistress, oh, are you? Quilt queen. Quilting queen. Quilting, quilting queen. Quilting. According so, to my new bracelet from Bailey. So not only are the pair of you colour coordinated, <laughs> but you've got this beautiful bracelet that he's made for you especially. Yeah, special boy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Be careful, Bailey. Unfortunately. <laughs> it wasn't going to take long. I'm only five foot one. <laughs> <laughs> but Diane, you've done an amazing job sorting out the merchandise here. You've brought in another gorgeous quilt, which for actually for Micah. So that's to celebrate the, the gorgeous. I think we do want to see it. Big one. It's giant. <laughs> it's very, very gorgeous and very Micah. <gasps> Look. And then if we turn round, Bailey, if you come towards me. Will you go the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Takes quite a lot to manoeuvre around. Green leaves and it's like a forest. As per normal. The beautiful the heart beautiful on the heart. bottom. Micah B, aka My My. Twentieth <laughs> of July, twenty twelve. The Frisian Experience, quilted with love. Bye, <laughs> so this yeah. is going to go live oh, after the Hida quilt and the Xiao. Yep, after I think on the open day we'll set this live and this will be the next quilt up for raffle. So thank you once again, Diane. Oh, pleasure. I love this one. Love Tamara, this one. I, Tamara's been streaming, so she's not happy that I'm videoing her now. But Tamara was what just were you just telling on the face because the eyes are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what were you just telling Diane about her wallets? So I was just saying to Diane that the wallet that she made um, in this fabric, um, I took on holiday with me and it was the perfect size to keep my room key in and my credit card in. So I had them with me all the time. Shall I show and people what they... Yeah, I think and we it should. It literally was perfect. So people might have seen these on the website. But we've got a whole range in the boys' colours and a whole range in the girls' colours, plus one that's just black horses. Aww. And you just open it up and it's Velcro and you can fit a few little cards. Yeah. I rolled up some notes in the back and absolutely perfect just to carry around in a bag when you go on holiday. Yay. Ideal. I'll be taking my doubts and one with me. Yeah. <laughs> Bailey, you don't have what? one yet. Maybe oh, you could know. buy one. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll have to fight with a couple of people for them, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> so you they're perfect. Yet. No, I don't. Mm. <laughs> Sorry not to bring you a close up of this, but there you can see the bales being wrapped in the plastic. So they're completely airtight once they're wrapped. And what happens? they ferment over the next six weeks and then they'll be ready for us to feed but it has to be left for that long for the fermentation process to happen and this is where we have to be very careful that the bags don't get punctured because if they get punctured and air gets into them that's when the bales go mouldy you can see they get several layers of plastic around them just to protect them as much as possible. While well, Tamara's doing some last minute strimming down here for tomorrow's memorial with the Bearster. We've managed to move his tree in here and get the area ready for him to go in and his tree to go above him tomorrow. 
Meanwhile, Nero and Uber have been very sensible and not been silly, which is really lovely. And hopefully they won't mess with the tree overnight. Freya was down in her beautiful dress, helping out with moving soil. But luckily she hasn't got it muddy. Diane's done a wonderful job in the friendship barn with all Teddy's cards and gifts all displayed here, ready for his memorial tomorrow and for the open day on Saturday. Feeling thankful for the love and the happiness we chase Sun is shining brightly, sky so blue and clear With every breath I take, I'm grateful you are near So grateful, yeah Thank you for the laughter, thank you for the tears